English and American people speak the same language, so we all understand each other perfectly, right? Maybe, but there are a few common words which are different in England and America. In this video, I'm going to show you 10 common words which sound completely different in each country. Number one, sweet sugary treats like these are known as sweets in England. But in America, these are called candies. In England, chocolate is separate from sweets. So you could say, I like chocolate and sweets. In America, chocolate is a type of candy. So if you say, I like candy, that could be, I like chocolate or sweets or both. Number two, you might hear this word on TV or if you're talking to parents with small babies. Babies wear a nappy in England, but in America, they wear a diaper. And if you think this little meerkat looks familiar, He's one of the meerkats from the insurance advert. There's another word that's also different in America, advert or commercial. And in Britain, we have an advert for an insurance company that has a family of little meerkats. And this one is the baby. Number three, if you're in a tall building, and you don't want to walk up the stairs, in England, you would get in the lift. So the lift takes you up to the top of the building so you don't have to walk up the stairs. In America, you would take the elevator because to elevate something means to lift it up. Number four, another food. There are several foods which have different names in England and America. This one is a courgette, <laughs> courgette in England. Courgettes grow in the summertime. They're quite easy to grow in this country and they're fairly popular in summer. In America, you would call this a zucchini, zucchini. If you go for a walk in England, you will probably walk on the footpath. A footpath can be at the side of the road. It can also be away from the road. So we have footpaths through the forest, footpaths over the hills. Anywhere that you can walk can be called a footpath. In America, the footpath at the side of the road is called a sidewalk because it's at the side and you walk on it. But if you are off the road, that's not a sidewalk. I think they are usually known as trails. You can also use trail in England. So trail and footpath in England are interchangeable. In America, it's sidewalk if it's on the road and trail if it's off the road. When you come back from your walk and you want to sit down and rest, in England, you'd rest on your sofa. In America, it would be your couch. England actually has two words for sofa. It could be sofa, it could be settee. And that just depends on which area you live in and which word you were brought up with. But they're completely interchangeable. They mean the same thing and everyone will understand you no matter which you use. So sofa or settee in England and couch in America. Back to food yet again. This is an aubergine, if you are English, an aubergine. In America, it's called an eggplant. 
If you've been to the supermarket, where do you put your shopping? In England, you put it in the boot of your car. But in America, that's known as the trunk. So here I am sitting in the boot of my car. But in America, it's known as the trunk. Numbers nine and 10 are related to each other. You'll see what I mean in a moment. So this is my handbag. It has all kinds of things in it. I use it to carry my money, my phone, pens, paper, all the little toys that my kids wanted to bring out and now don't want to carry. So it's my handbag because it's a bag and I carry it. With my hands. In America this is known as a purse and this confuses me sometimes and you'll see why in a moment because in my handbag I have my purse. In England this is a purse it's only for money. In America this is a purse it's for carrying everything. So English purse, it's just for your money, credit cards, things like that. It's small and the word purse is normally used by women. Men tend to have a wallet. So this is my husband's. So a man's wallet or women can have a wallet too, but a man's wallet is usually flatter and thinner doesn't have any decorations on it. It's usually a bit plainer and less decorative than a purse. So to clarify, in Britain, handbag. In America, purse. In Britain, purse. In America, this is known as a wallet. And so is this wallet for both of these in America, wallet for this in England. That's probably the most confusing one. And of course, all of these words will sound a little bit different in an American accent. So I've given you American words in an English accent, and that's because my American accent is terrible. There's no way that I'm going to do that on camera. So you will not hear me trying to speak with an American accent. There are loads of American YouTubers. Go and listen to them if you want to hear them in a real American accent. If you're keen to learn an English accent, then stick with me, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye.